It's been more than four years since the COVID-19 pandemic and the introduction of a new education policy. ASA 2024 attempts to capture where we are today. The nationwide rural household survey reached 6,49,491 children in 17,997 villages across 605 rural districts in India. Key findings of this survey are presented for three major age categories pre primary, age group 3 to 5, elementary, age group 6 to 14, and older children, age group 15 and 16. Let's begin with the pre-primary age group. ASA data shows that in 2024, nationally, the majority of children in the 3 to 4 age group in rural India attend Anganwadi centres, while some also attend other types of government or private pre-primary classes or schools. Survey findings also point to a steady increase over time in pre-primary enrolments among 3 and 4 year olds, who are entering the new foundational stage of education as defined by the NEP. In 2024, nationally, about 80% of children in this age group are enrolled in some form of pre-primary education. Enrollment of five-year-olds in pre-primary institutions also shows a big jump from 2022 to 2024. In line with the NEP recommendation that children should enter Standard 1 of primary school only at age 6. This trend is matched by a decrease in the proportion of underage children, aged 5 or below, enrolled in Standard 1 of primary school. In 2024, this figure declined to its lowest level ever, standing at 16.7%. For children in the elementary school age group, school enrolment crossed 98% for the first time in 2022 and stayed almost the same at 98.1% in 2024. The increase in government school enrollment seen between 2018 and 2022 as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic has declined to pre-pandemic levels in 2024. This year, there is much to celebrate, especially for government school performance. ASA 2024 shows that reading ability in government schools has recovered to pre-pandemic levels and in some cases surpassed them. At the national level, basic reading levels for Standard 3 children enrolled in government schools are the highest that they have been since ASAR began in 2005. Standard 5 children in government schools also show significant progress, with reading levels in almost all states showing a recovery in 2024. Nationally, children's basic arithmetic levels show substantial improvement in both government and private schools. The proportion of government school children in Standard 3 who could solve a numerical subtraction problem did not see big changes between 2018 and 2022. But in 2024, this figure reached 27.6%, the highest level in over a decade. Between 2014 and 2022, Standard 5 children in government schools who could solve a numerical division problem had seen little improvement. In 2024, this figure has risen to 26.5%. While these numbers reflect good progress in both reading and arithmetic, there is more ground to cover. Although adolescents in the 15 to 16 age group are outside the ambit of the Right to Education Act, the proportion of children in this age group not enrolled in school has been decreasing over the past decade, falling from 16.6% in 2014 to 7.9% in 2024. But in several states in northern and central India, the proportion of 15 and 16-year-old girls out of school remains higher than 10% in 2024. ASA 2024 included a section on digital access, usage and ability among older children in the 14 to 16 age group. These data show that access and usage of smartphones is very high among the 14 to 16 age group. Almost 90% of girls and boys report having a smartphone at home. More than 80% report knowing how to use a smartphone. Of these, 57% reported using it for an educational activity and 76% said that they had used it for social media in the preceding week. Of those children reporting having used social media in the preceding week, more than 50% knew basic digital safety measures. But gender gaps are visible in these data. Similarly, among children who could use a smartphone, 36.2% of boys, as compared to 26.9% of girls, report owning a smartphone. 
ASA 2024 also assessed children's digital skills. Children aged 14 to 16 were asked to bring a smartphone on the day of the survey. Those who could do so were asked to do three digital tasks. Set an alarm, browse for a specific piece of information, and locate a YouTube video. If they were able to locate the video, they were asked to share it with someone else via any messaging platform. More than three quarters of children who could bring a smartphone were able to perform these tasks successfully. But gender gaps were observed in digital skills too. In 2024, ASA surveyors visited 15,728 government schools with primary sections and asked about the rollout of FLN-related activities. The survey shows that over 80% of schools visited have rolled out a variety of FLN-related programs and activities. ASA 2024 also shows small increases in school services and usable facilities like midday meals, drinking water and usable toilets, consistent with trends over the past decade. Other inputs and facilities in school, like electricity and libraries, are also improving. Schools across the country have been fully open since 2022. Since then, much has been accomplished. As ASAR 2024 shows, there are many reasons to celebrate. To ensure that every child acquires a solid foundation for lifelong learning, there's more to do and accomplish in the next few years.